Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Alicia here. We're gonna be going over the markets, what has happened, why we don't trade NFP. But before all of that, I just wanna say cheers. Cheers to you guys for building up this community, for commenting, for liking. We have reached 750 subscribers and that is just crazy to me. I am so grateful for every single one of you and I appreciate you for coming in and hanging out and asking questions and leaving comments and I just absolutely appreciate it. So cheers. This one's for you. Now, some exciting news. When we reach 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, I am gonna do a day in the life of my life, what I do when I'm not on the charts, and essentially how that looks. So I'm gonna do a day in the life vlog for you guys to give you more insight on who I am as a person and essentially what my day-to-day -day life looks like. So. When we reach a thousand subscribers, we're gonna do a day in the life. So cheers to you guys for being here. I really, really do appreciate you all. And I'm so grateful for this community and I'm so grateful that we're building it together. And I'm just grateful. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Let's get to work now. So we're gonna start on the daily time frame. Okay, so we already know we have this consolidation taking place. This week has been a little bit better for like extended moves and extended candles. We did take out those, these lows right here on Thursday, taking out those lows, not quite reaching into all of this liquidity here with these weekly relative equal lows. And we also traded today, which is super exciting, we traded higher, taking out this weekly high and traded above the weekly fair value gap. However, we did, we now have these weekly relative equal highs taking place, this high right here and this high created on Friday. And we kind of traded down. So we didn't get that extended move I was hoping for where we move higher, back down and then move higher. So we're kind of still in this range, but we did take out last week's high with that move today, with NFP today. And yeah, now we're kind of consolidating back into this range. So it'll be interesting to see how December plays out, but I don't know if we're gonna be doing much trading. Next week, we have PP CPI news and PPI, and I believe Powell is speaking, and we have a fun, uh, fund rate changing so that could potentially add some volume into this market but right now it's kind of looking like we're just kind of stuck back in this range unless we get a really awesome move in the afternoon but we don't have any news in the afternoon so i don't expect much before the close into next week so again we might have rollover happening next week it might be the week after Plus the holidays, you know, it's holiday season. I don't expect much now seeing this movement, especially after something like NFP, you would expect the markets to move on NFP, but we didn't even really see that this week. So we'll see what happens, but I know for sure we're just kind of watching to see if we can escape this range. So let's drop down to the one hour chart. Again, on the one hour chart, we can see like we had this consolidation last week. This is last week's new week opening gap, this purple line here. We traded down, then we traded higher. This would have been this week's new week opening gap. And um, we traded lower on Monday, which was awesome, kind of consolidated. We made a high here on Wednesday, traded lower, taking out these lows, which is nice to see. After taking out these lows Thursday, we had move up not quite taking out this uh, high right here or these highs. And then we had this kind of consolidating movement before NFP, we moved lower, <laughs> traded into this one hour fair value gap. And then we also filled in some of that opening range gap from Thursday. We didn't fill it in completely. 
and that's fine, but we kind of surpassed last week's new week opening gap, trading into this one hour before trading back into this consolidation. And then at 9.30, we opened, traded down before moving higher into these weekly highs and the new week opening gap and these highs right here. So we do see some movement happening, but even like looking at this wick, that is a huge wick, but we can expect something like that for NFP. That is why I stay away from NFP, you know? That is a really nice move down just to go higher and it's just not very nice. Even today, like we did have that nice move run higher, taking out that weekly high, which is awesome. But then we just traded back down into this kind of range. So it's just been one of those weeks, you know, we're in consolidation. We're not seeing very many extended moves. It's Friday now, so we're, we're at the end of the week. So let's just drop down to the 15 minute time frame. Again, we did take out this sell side liquidity here, trading into this new week opening gap, surpassing it, not quite filling in the opening range gap from Thursday, but we did come down into this 15 minute fair value gap, which is also the one hour fair value gap before moving higher. And then ultimately having that open at 9.30, traded lower, and then we filled in Friday's opening range gap, traded higher, came back down, and then we moved higher. Now, again, that's like kind of, you know, it's a nice run, you know, we did trade higher. We wanted to see these relative equal highs and this weekly high traded too. So I'm super happy that we were able to trade to these levels. But again, I just don't trade NFP. So it was just nice to watch the market. I'll drop down to the five minute time frame. So this morning, again, I don't trade NFP, all right? But I do like watching the market and seeing like how it respects these levels. Like this right here, look at how well we respected this five minute fair value gap. We came right down to the, to the open of that fair value gap before moving higher into those levels that we wanted to see. This honestly would have been a nice trade if it hadn't been NFP, just saying. <laughs> So we didn't get into this trade, but it was really nice to see how we respected that level. And then we have, again, a deep retracement going higher all the way into this one, this five minute pair value gap up here before moving lower. And now we're kind of, again, in this range. So it's crazy to me because usually NFP, you see like markets, like they'll do the Judas swing. So they'll go the opposite direction and then they'll just shoot higher which we do see this morning. We had that NFP run lower and then we continued to move higher, taking that weekly relative equal high, but I expected it to go higher and even close up here, but no, we came back down and now we're trading lower. So we'll see how the market wants to close today. After market closes today, probably tomorrow or Sunday, I'm gonna go over the charts, kind of draw out the key levels that I wanna see that week traded to but the fact we've just kind of been trading in between these new week opening gaps essentially all week has just uh not been the best to trade in i shall say so hopefully next week gives us some more setups hopefully next week we can see some more extended runs and hopefully we can just see some trending movement again. I don't know if that's gonna happen in December, I don't know, but it would be nice to see. So yes, I'm gonna end the video here. I just wanna say it one more time, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea. The fact that we are at 750 subscribers is absolutely unbelievable to me. And I'm just so grateful for you guys. So thank you again for being here and supporting the channel. I hope you guys like the videos. I love replying to the comments. I love connecting with you guys. So leave me a comment, say hello, say what's up. Tell me what your plans are for the weekend. I don't care. I love connecting with you guys. So yeah, just thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's do it again. One more time, cheers. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. All right. I'm going to end the video here. I will see you all tomorrow and stay safe and we will talk soon. Bye for now.